at the track as the high-performance bargain of the year. Because it locks the ECU. Oh, we're getting some sputter. Make my ears bleed, bro. <laughs> Dang, we got a Whipple 5.0 right here. I tried it so much. Gee, they're kicking everybody out now. Everybody go to Target. Leave. I'm going in for 30 days. Get in your car. Thank you, sir. No, I'm cool. I'm maybe in a little bit. Don't get too crazy. There's cops everywhere. There's a lot of cops. Don't let them hype you up. You guys just cruising? cruising Car sounds that good. Sounds What'd you? What's been done since then? E85, uh, Catalyst, and then the Corsa. Oh shit! So it's it's, bolt, it's full bolts on pretty much. Damn, it sounds good. What's up? That's clean, man. I think we're just gonna go to Target. Okay. All right. Lambo door setup. That's cool. Perfect. The cop swinging there, or he just ended all the fun. Oh shit! So we got the chopper on us, guys. <laughs> the cop's gonna swing it or what? The getaway car right here. The SVT. Woo. I'll park right here. Alright, I don't know guys. We're about to prank thing right now, but we don't know. I think this plan just went. <laughs> Cody's DSG term, you guys. Miss miss driving the Cobra. This is by far one of the cleanest DSG Cobras that I've ever experienced. I so miss the Cobra. Coming back soon, but for now we get to experience a little bit of Cody's Bolton Terminator action. But love the car. Super clean. <laughs> yep, got some pops in the action too. A AED tune. <laughs> oh my god! Woo. That felt good. That felt good. The, the stock supercharger screen. Oh, yeah, it does. It does. That felt good though. Especially with the smaller bully on it too. That was crazy. Fuck. This shit's nasty. nasty. It's chopping.
right guys, so we just picked up the battery from AutoZone back there. We charged it up. You guys can go to AutoZone if you guys need to uh, charge your battery. So that's what we did. And uh, we'll see what's up. The new whip. All right, so we're just headed off to get Yogi's sister's car washed, but we came across this accident. It's pretty gnarly. Wow. Oh, that ended up on the- Whoa, thing. oh my God, that's crazy. We're going through the car wash. I recommend this if you have a nice car. Now. Yeah, no, definitely not, guys. If your paint's already f you guys can do this. But if your paint's like paint corrected, like the 5.0, definitely. Ceramic coated shit, do not do yeah, this. do not do this. This is my sister's car, by the way, so. Yeah. She don't care. Just be careful. Like, if your paint's already messed up and you just need to wash it now, then it's kind of like the damage's already done. Yeah. So, yeah. So now. Got the right pulley on there now? Yeah, right belt, eight rib belt. But now we need to do and check to see if the TPS sensor is up or not. We are going to be testing out the SET and connecting it to the computer. And we're gonna see if we have a throttle position sensor issue because it idles high. And when we determine that, we should be good to go. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. We got the car to idle. It sounds like it's cams. I think we have a vacuum leak. Just the E, but I think there still is a leak. I don't hear shit. Well, I don't hear anything. No, it's like, let me see. Okay, so we uh, AFR. I know it does. We're getting a tune or we're data logging the car for about five minutes, just idle. The air fuel should be at about 14.7, so I don't think it's getting the proper amount of fuel at the moment, but it is idling smooth, it's just idling high. The idle air control sensor should take over, but like I said, it's just idling a little bit high for now. But we're gonna let it log for about two more minutes and we're gonna send that log over to Speedline Motorsports and I think we should be good, but that check engine is, is just, everything's a little off because it's a bass tune. Oh. No, all the way? Yeah. Yeah, you're all the way down already. Hold up. Pretty low. I told you, man. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. That film is perfect. No, it's not down all the way, is it? <laughs> it's not down all the way, right? No, that's down. All the uh, way. Down? Oh shit, that's good. That's good. That's yeah. how my H and R's were before. You want it lower? Nah, that's not. Nah, that's cool with me. Oh, I hear it. If this shit dies, we're fucked. Dude, fine. Because it locks the ECU. How do you unlock it? Ford Tech. That's going semi quick. It sounds like it's dying. The fan. Holy fuck. It does. Not put. Already at 80. Come on, dude. 20. Come on. Uh oh. I see the fucking service engine light dying out. No. Oh, damn. Those lights are going dim. Okay. It did it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <Look at laughs> it. He's like, damn. Dude, what happened? Stupid high right now. I'm not even giving it gas. But I'm turning it very easy. Oh my god, I'm nervous, guys. I smell some gas, bro. Let's not. Let's check the gas and everything. I smell some gas, so I just want to be careful. Took it for the first ride with the Gem 5. Woo. I'm pretty nervous. I gotta check for fuel leaks. Let's just make sure everything's running cool. Hear me, look how low it is. Oh my God. With the new coilover setup, guys. Sheesh. And shout out to Dietrichs, guys. Gave me 1,000 cc injectors. That's what we're running. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, go home and give it a wash, but damn, that's stupid low. I can't even see because the car's too damn low now.
That's just hella low. Yeah, we definitely can't do that. Auto body, guys, it's massive. Oh, we're getting some sputter. I don't think it likes that. Taking it easy. Easy peasy. All right, guys, so we're going to sum up today's video. I was all over the place. So I want to apologize for that. But if you guys did make it to the end, I want to give a big shout out to Edder who has been helping me build the Termi. So big shout out to him. Build's coming. So hopefully you guys can stay tuned for his channel, which we hopefully will get going. But behind me, we do have the Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger in the flesh. So right now, pretty much, I'll give a brief summary for the people that are sticking around. We have a 3.25 upper pulley, stock lower. Lethal performance, 1400 rear wheel horsepower fuel system, Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger, Detroit's 1000cc injectors. We also have the UPR tubular K member with the caster camera plates up here, as well as Cook's 1 and 7 8 long tube headers to X pipe to boreless stingers. Then we also have a T56 Magnum that is in the tranny with a Santa Force clutch to wrap everything up. But that's going to conclude today's video, guys. Guys, this has been such a long process. So, like I said, it's just everyone that has been such a big help. I want to thank them a lot for helping me on this build. We still have a few more things to go, like tuning the car. Shout out to Speedline Motorsports. So, hopefully, we'll get that all dialed in soon. And let me know what you guys think the car will make. Boost-wise, with the pulley setup I have, it's predicted to make between 700 and 800 wheel horsepower. I'm more than happy with that. But yeah, especially being like stock head studs and everything. So, yeah. Keep you guys updated, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.